Hello pre-k friends, welcome back. Today we start our new study, tubes and tunnels. So before we get to our question of the day, let's review those listening rules. Ready? Fingers, eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices quiet, body calm. This is how we listen. This is how we listen in pre-K, in pre-K. Friends, our new study, Tubes and Tunnels. My question is, what is a tube? What is a tunnel? Friends, a tube is a long, hollow cylinder. You may, you may find tubes in your home, such as with wrapping paper, your paper towel tubes, toilet paper tubes. You also have a tube of toothpaste. So a tube may be open on both ends or not, depending on what you use your tube for. You may want to hold something in there. And then we have, what is a tunnel? So a tunnel is a passageway that goes through or under something. So you may think of on the highway for the cars, they need to drive through the tunnel. They may have had to put a tunnel through a mountain so the cars can get from one side to the other. Or you may think of, choo choo, a train tunnel. Tunnels have to go through mountains as well. Miss Joyce is going to share my book, Tubes and Tunnels, through and through to get us thinking about tubes and tunnels. How we use them, um, what we could do with them, who works with them. So let's get started. Tubes and tunnels through and through. Have you ever squeezed toothpaste out of a tube to brush your teeth? Have you ever crawled through a tunnel to get to the other side? Have you ever blown into a whistle to make a sound? Let's take a look at how we use tubes and tunnels for work and play. When you are thirsty, we can use a tube like a drinking straw to sip our milk. A glass is a tube to use to hold the milk. A bird feeder is a type of tube that we use to hold seeds for the birds to eat. Seeds are loaded into the top and the birds eat the seeds from the holes in the bottom. An inner tube is a type of tube we use when we go swimming. It's filled with air that helps it float on top of the water. A snorkel is a type of tube that helps us breathe under the water. When we swim with a snorkel, the air enters into a tube from above and we breathe the air into our mouth below the water. A play tunnel is a soft fabric tunnel that we can crawl through. When we crawl through a play tunnel together, we need to crawl the same direction. Otherwise, there will be a traffic jam. Ants make their homes by digging tunnels under the ground. The tunnels protect them from the weather and other animals. The dirt they dig out forms an anthill over the tunnels. A garden hose is a long, flexible tube that helps us get water to the place where we need it. The children use a hose to wash their red wagon.
A saxophone is a type of tube that we can blow air through to create music. You blow air into the mouthpiece, the air travels down the long tube or body of the saxophone. Then music rises up into the air from the saxophone's bell or opening. Can you think of any tubes or tunnels that you use? Friends, I hope you enjoyed my book, Tubes and Tunnels, and I hope it got you thinking about tubes and tunnels in your everyday life. So I need you to post in your portfolio. Tell me something that you already know about tubes or tunnels, and tell me something that you want to learn about tubes and tunnels. So. Miss uh, Joyce, Miss Phyllis, Miss Tina, we can't wait to read your posts so we can start planning our lessons and start working with tubes and tunnels. Thanks, friends.